Now at 5.30, a recent surge in heroin overdoses is prompting local officials to take action. It's being called an epidemic. There's been dozens of heroin overdoses in Rhode Island and Massachusetts so far this year. Forums have been held over the last several weeks about ways to attack the issue. President Obama's drug czar and Massachusetts Senator Edward Markey met with first responders and parents of addicts in Taunton today, a city that's seen an uptick in heroin overdoses. Highway to News reporter Steve Nielsen is live in the newsroom now with our top local story tonight. One speaker today said it would take an army to combat this problem. Events like this are all about finding out what that army will be made of. With Senator Markey back. A large media presence as Barack Obama's advisor on drug policies speaks about what's being called an epidemic. This is a problem that has affected uh, every race, economic area, uh, rural, suburban, urban, etc. Gil Gerlikowski joined U.S. Senator Ed Markey and plenty of Taunton leaders about the recent uptick of heroin overdose deaths in the area. We need results, not rhetoric. We need available treatment facilities, not long lines and red tape. It's also something we can do something about. We can actually make a difference in the people here in Taunton. Rhode Island has also struggled with overdoses. Dozens have already died this year in the Ocean State. So-called friends. Forums have been held to find answers. One tool being introduced more and more is Narcan. In fact, Charlestown police just announced they'll carry it. Former Boston Celtic and Fall River native Chris Heron spoke today about how the OD reversal drug saved his life. I was found on the side of the road by myself, crashed into a fence when Narcan was administered, administered to me and I was brought back to life. If we can get Narcan into the hands of first responders, if we can get it into the hands of families, well, we have a real chance to do something. Leaders spoke about introducing a plan to make Narcan more available and also increasing access to drug treatment. Just show you how constant this problem really is. While we were waiting for that news conference to get started, firefighters at the fire department we were at already responded to two overdose calls while we were there. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.